There are new concerns tonight about the future of the Tour Down Under. After a meeting in Switzerland failed to produce any guarantees, the event will remain in January. Jared Revy joins us live from Victoria Square, where the Tour Village springs up every year. Jared, what's the latest? Will the Tourism and Sports Minister Leon Bignall is tonight on a flight home from Switzerland where he held high-level discussions with officials from the International Cycling Union. The organisation is reviewing its racing calendar, which could see our January event lose its place as the opening race of the professional cycling season. There was talk a few months ago that the Tour Down Under could be pushed back a month out of school holidays, which could affect attendances and revenue. It could also clash with Mad March events. With no commitment from his European talks, Mr Mr Bignall was coy on Facebook about the event's future, today saying while nothing can be guaranteed until the final decision of the review is announced later this year, I am optimistic our race is safe, but the opposition believes something more sinister is going on. He's softening up South Australia for potentially losing the Tour Down Under. Uh, I think he needs to come clean about exactly what discussions he's had. Uh, if he knows things that he's not telling South Australians, he needs to uh, be upfront and transparent. Now, the tourism, uh, the uh, tour down under attracted almost 800,000 spectators this year and injected around $50 million into the state's economy. But the opposition believes those figures could almost be halved if the event was moved away from January. Will? Yeah, thanks very much, Jared Brevy there.